Take it away. Mark, thanks very much. Good shot of Kenny Peroff. And uh, the long locks that he was sporting for the better part of this season was all due to charity reasons. Uh, they're starting a foundation. You'll notice on the back of the battalion helmet, there's a JC. That's for Jerry Callahan, who passed away earlier on in the season, a force behind this battalion hockey club in their beginning 11 season. So they're starting a foundation. Ken Peroff, uh, being the stand-up guy that he is, had his locks cut off. And done so for charity and a great job by Kenny Peroff. The battalion from Malou across the battalion blue line. He gets stood up by Brad Albert. Tansky's there. Sends it out in front. Knocked down. Shot. Rolling puck. They score. I think Akeem Malou gets the goal. And the Sudbury Wolves on the power play now lead 1-0. Well, Akeem Malou certainly a force in that first period. And some good forechecking as well with Matt Diaz in front of the net. Creates this opportunity. And... You had talked about it, mentioned it to me in the first intermission. We can talk about the tired legs and getting in late. Put that all behind you, as we mentioned. Guys like Akeem Alou, John Kurtz, Matt Diaz, really leading the way for this Sudbury team. And they certainly have... Disturbing the battalion power play. Duchesne feathers the pass for Day. Fakes the shot. Hodgson lets it go. He scores. Cody Hodgson extends the point scoring streak to 20 games. Perfect shot from Cody Hodgson there, Doug. One-timer as we see Duchesne over to Josh Day. Nice fake of the shot. Puts it on a tee for Cody Hodgson. Not sure if it might have hit something in front of the net. Nonetheless, a terrific shot from Cody Hodgson, as you mentioned, Doug, to extend his point streak to 20 games. For Scott Tansky, first to speed around Herman Agildo to the front of that. Tansky scores! 2-1 Battalion. What an effort from Scott Tansky. Absolute gorgeous effort from Scott, Scott Tansky. And I believe I just mentioned moments ago, a snowball effect, something that really kicked this offense into high gear. Hodgson ties it with his 31st, and Scott Tansky, great job holding off. Peter Herman and Gildo slides it under Lovelock. That is the speed of Scott Tansky. Two quick steps, he's behind the defender, then holds off the defender, Herman and Gildo. Back for Hodgson to the top of the slot. Wrist shot. That went wide. Peluso, Hodgson, Dale through traffic. Couple of cracks at it. Peluso scores. It's 3-1 Battalion. The big bully, Anthony Peluso. We talked about it throughout this game, Doug. Imposing his will on the other team. Finding a way to get to the net. The big 6'4", 200-plus pounder. Playing on this top line as we see it there. Hodgson throwing it in front, puck bouncing around. Hodgson, uh, pardon me. Peluso just imposing his will on the Sudbury defense. As we get a look, as Peluso started this whole thing, Peluso takes Kurtz out of the way. What a game John Kurtz has played. Grachev picks off the pass. Look at the big long strides. A breakaway for Grachev to the back end. He scores. Grachev gets the goal. Battalion go up four to one. Well, everybody talks about the size and the hands and the shot of Vinny Grachev. His speed is something that is so underrated. And what breakaway speed he had there, Doug. Real heads-up play as we get another look at it here. Intercepts the pass, anticipates, and then look at the breakaway speed right there to the backhand, up top. No chance for Andrew Lovrock, and the floodgates are officially open. 320. And it's a whole different look, even if you're down a man. Kept in at the blue line. Long shot. They score. There's a deflection in front. Diaz looks to get his second goal on the power play with only 26 seconds left in the second period. That's what I told you, partner. Mm -hmm. Far from over. You did. And uh, good on the Sudbury Wolves, as we mentioned. Anthony Peluso gets called for high sticking. And the Sudbury Wolves down 4-1. to one And really, with a game getting away from a team like it was, and you talk about a team who suffered, gave up nine goals. Stahl trying to get around Day. Splits the D and McCollum knocks it away. He takes the brunt of the hit. That does it for the second period of play. Now Kurtz is going to go with Brad Albert deep in the battalion end. Kurtz throwing some rights over top. Gets another one away. Albert's got his right hand tied up. He gets it loose and out of the shirt. Albert throws a left, drops Kurtz, who gets back to his feet. Both guys with their helmets still on. Kurtz 
Back over top. Albert looking to come underneath. And the helmet of Brad Albert has come off, so the linesman come in and shut this one down. Well, Brad Albert that the Belleville Bulls have been playing. That low shot from Peroff goes wide. Mara. Merritt puts it in the corner. Carrick steps out. Rich shot, he scores! Boy, that shot from Sam Carrick again. He buries it on the power play. Battalion lead 5-2. The second power play unit producing. Everyone getting in on the act. Andrew Merritt with the pass out in front of Sam Carrick. And what a wire job. Top shelf there. No chance for Love Rock. As we see Merritt, nice play there. Willing to take the hit to get the puck to Sam Carrick, who had all kinds of... We're done with Judice. Back on the ice. Teams are at full strength. Peroff, one-timer at the point deflected. Loose puck. Carrick with the backhand. His second in a row at 6-2. And again, we've talked about the presence of Anthony Peluso in front of the net. 6-4, 235, creating more space. And that a huge reason right there while Sam Carrick was able to pick up a loose pipe like in front of the net. There you see Peluso going to the net. Two white jerseys trying to corral him and keep him occupied. Nobody picks up on Sam Carrick, who's able to gobble up a loose puck. There we see 16 right there, come in untouched. And Andrew Lovrock just put the head down after play. Alacock loses it through the middle. Whoa. Big hit coming to Sam Carrick as Akeem Alou lined him up. Matt Kang and Akeem Alou. Oh boy. Set to go, and Alou is one big tough guy. And Kang throwing some big lefts. Getting the uppercuts in. Kang now hanging on, he goes to the ice. Matt Kang threw five left-hand hooks to the chin of Akeem Alou, and then he went, you know, I better just get the heck out of the way now. And, and you talked about moments ago about a guy like Matt Kang stepping up. Well, how about that? Akeem Alou took a healthy run at Sam Carrick coming across the middle of the ice, and it could have been a lot worse than it was. Sam Carrick appears to be totally fine. He didn't get full contact, but right away, Matt Kang coming to the defense of his teammate. So, and Kang not picking for his hockey club. Once the playoffs kick off. Alacock picks it up off the draw. Swings it to the front of the net. They hang on. McCollum stays with it. But they tuck it home. Dean Howard gets the goal. It's 6-3. Dean Howard left alone in front with a backhander. Beating an outstretched Thomas McCollum with no chance. And I think if you're the battalion now, Doug, you know, you want to finish this game strong. You don't want to give the Sudbury Wolves any kind of sniff here that they can try to... That shot gets the skate of merit and goes just wide. Carrick out in front. Merrick tied up with Daniel Maggio, and that does it. The Branston Battalion keep the streak alive and win 6-3 over the Sudbury Wolves on home ice. And they dust off the season series with the Wolves. Doug with a 6-3 win. They win the season series six games to two, so taking care of a Central Division full in impressive fashion, and again, Another unbelievable offensive outburst on home ice. Absolutely. The Brampton Battalion get a huge effort from Sam Carrick and Cody Hudson. They win it 6-3 over the visiting Sudbury Wolves. We're coming back with more of OHL primetime on Rogers TV. Stay with us. The wrap-up is next.